Hey, welcome back, Sweden, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is, well, what is today? Today is uh, Tuesday, August the 24th, 2021, and it's time for your daily COVID-19 update. Uh, before we get started, a big shout out to all those, what, how many of you folks actually supported this channel yesterday by viewing it? Let's see some of Sweden. Six. A big shout out to seven people who did watch this video yesterday. Thank you so much for those views. Of course, you know, be, be sure to click on the subscribe button. Click on that share button. Share the video on Facebook and Twitter today. You can also copy and paste a link to the video into an email or text message and share it with your friends and family that way. Okay, well, well let's, let's remind me, we need to remind ourselves that Sweden, for reasons known only to themselves, are only recording deaths Tuesday to Friday, which means that the numbers for Tuesday are artificially inc increased because they include Saturday, Sunday, Monday's number. So, in order to compensate for this, for this, well, for this irregularity and how they're recording data, we're only we're not going to be concerned with daily numbers. We're only going to be concerned, okay, concerned with. Uh, we're only going to be concerned with uh, the trend, because the trend is our friend. In our case, our, our trend line is being generated by what's called a LOES or LOES function, L-O-E-S-S, L-O-W-E-S-S, uh, to get through the volatility. Because you can see the, the spikes here are Tuesday's numbers. So we're going to take a look here now, see exactly what's going on. If, if you look underneath the spikes, you can see there is an increase here. Now, what's interesting is, once again, we saw a bit of an increase in July. That's really curious to me, because the U.S. Had, a, had, a, uh, had an increase in July. I think Israel had an increase in July. And even the state of Ohio had an increase in July. So we saw this for some reason back in starting July. We saw this bit of an increase here, the four or five week increase. Maybe this is the beginning of a new downward trend. You, if, if you, you can look here, okay, and you can see the pattern slowly going up, okay, for cases. This is a 28-day moving average, which means that for the 28-day period ending August the 9th, you were, we are averaging, Sweden, you are averaging 706 cases per day. Now, notice this. Notice the blue line. The, the continuing decline, the blue line, from all the way back over here, all the way down to here. Notice the linear regression line indicates a declining pattern. So what you can see here is, look how low you, look how, look how, again, the blank spaces simply mean those are most likely the days when deaths weren't recorded. Okay, Saturday, Sunday, Monday numbers. But you can still look at the trend. Look at this long trend down to almost zero, okay? 28 day moving average for deaths. Well, for the seven day period or the 28 day period ending August the 9th, you were averaging 1.6 deaths per day. Look at this nice low numbers for, because uh, if, if that's 10, so this is maybe 5,000 deaths for last week or this week, okay? Or cases, I mean. Look how look how look how good your deaths are still looking, okay? Don't be don't be misled by any media hype talking about cases or hospital beds either, okay? But I do need to mention one thing about the vaccine. At least the vaccinations being used in America, the vaccines in America will not keep you from getting COVID-19. And they may not even keep you from dying from COVID-19. It may simply reduce the symptoms. Okay. Of course, depending on your age, you may not you may not have been at risk to die from COVID-19 in the first place. All right. That's the second point. So anyway, look, you know, look at look at the case. Look how low your th your current three months worth of cases are here. Well below these numbers back. Uh, the lowest. Th this is the lowest number in what seven months? Okay, for cases. What about deaths? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in a row now, Sweden. You're going to have, you, you're going to see a decline in COVID-19 deaths. All right. So this does conclude the report today, August 24th, uh, Sweden. Of course, as always, don't forget to click on that share button. Share the video on your Facebook and Twitter accounts. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks so much, Sweden, for your time. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.